bow, bow, bow. Now that's that music that they play. That's that's royalty free music, right? Because uh-huh. you know we put it on YouTube. We don't want to necessarily have to get dinged. Yeah, you don't want to get dinged, dinged on YouTube. You don't want to get dinged. No, dinged. But people ding. <laughs> some some sometimes you know they let you use the music, you know, because the royalties get paid, and sometimes they don't. So you get dinged. Yeah. So welcome to the Follies. Welcome. Welcome. I'm Steve. I'm the official alternate co-host. I'm Falky. Our official alternate host, and this is Falky. You who... just thumbed down me. Oh no. Totally. Why does? Doesn't for me. You know what? I have those things turned off every time, and it just doesn't. I don't I'm know. not an official co uh, host. No, no, she just happens to be here with me because we're we're the first team that's playing. But let me uh, clue you in on who's coming up after us, and uh, and these are half hour shows, right? They start on the half hour, so eight thirty. What? I was repeating that it was a half hour. Oh, okay. I'm saying half hour. Okay. I can't read lips. 8.30 is going to be the episode. We're ramen on Sunday. It's down on the thing. We're, I'm just saying on Sunday. On Sorry. a half hour, it's, I can still see you doing it. Under <laughs> On the half hour, it's going to be the Upside Down Players, who, who plays here almost every Sunday. I think every Sunday, except maybe they take the, a fifth Sunday off. I don't know. And then at 9 o'clock is going to be Get a Room. And then it'll be over. And then you'll have to go back to your regular. We'll probably watch a, another Gilmore Girls. That'll be the fourth one. Today. We're working. working to know. Is it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Mm. I mean, you were so excited because Lorelai and Luke finally. No, spoiler, re- spoiler alert. <laughs> it was a relief that it finally happened. Yeah. And also that, that Jess finally admitted to luke that he was grateful in oh way. and they hugged that was the big one for that you was when really, luke and jess hugged yeah i have been i've been holding tension around this relationship hi everybody we're ramen on sunday hi okay so uh we're here to do a show not just talking about gilmore girls although we can yeah. do that we can have a, mm-hmm. a show uh, as soon as we we haven't finished the whole series yet so but when we do we, maybe we can do an ama uh, about gilmore girls yeah for sure yeah. It's yeah. interesting life in a small New England town, I think. There's some narcissistic motherhood going on. It's fine. It's still enjoyable. Yeah, those people are a mess, really. It's big mess. Yeah. Big mess. Huge Everybody mess. in it. Mm. Everybody. There's mm-hmm. nobody mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and and I think that's a lot how life is, except it's exaggerated. I mean, I I it's exaggerated, right? Uh, yeah. I mean those those folks are like, yeah, I would say exaggerated. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to uh, use the cards, which we do. Yeah. These are Kim Kranz archetype cards. Yeah. Yeah. As uh, prompts. And then we'll just cut the deck and. Yeah. And. Uh, pick one. And pick one. I'll pick. Are you going to pick one? Well, I was going to admit that I had taken some out because they're really hard to understand. So. But then I, don't I decided know not to, and then, you know, okay, here, okay. here you go. Well, we could, here, you know, just pick one. We do. We got like, go ahead and pick one. I don't know, 10, 12, 14 cards here. Okay. There's so like 20 cards there, but we can pick one. Okay, here we go. Okay. And it is that. What is that? It's backwards. Read it. You got to read it this way. Oh, it's the orphan. The orphan. The orphan. The orphan. That's Is it upside down, though? Yeah. Oh. There. Right. The orphan. Yeah, yeah, that's why I couldn't read. Okay, the orphan. I would have liked to have looked at it. It, had, it has images. You know, it's not I showed it to you. It was on the screen there. It was upside down and backwards. See, it has a snake. It has a snake. And a and... poppy. Okay, but you know, and a little that's just baby us hand. A little telling baby. people. A disembodied baby hand. Baby hand. hand. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. The orphan. The orphan. Emotionally overwrought is what I'd call that. I like her. I like Angie a lot. 
every once in a while though we're watching a tv show and she'll just get i want to understand but i I can't seem to comprehend everything that happens. I don't get it. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I just and Angela, Angie. Oh, are you okay? I'm. What? Well, I. I'm fine. Yeah, you don't seem fine. I'm fine. It, it was just fun. such a moment I know I mean I recognized it I I'm an adult orphan I mean I know the show was about a little kid orphan like a little kid who lost their parents to yeah a big oh which makes a difference not the same but both of my parents are dead. Yeah. But a lot of people who are in their 40s have parents who are... I'm not denying that. I'm just saying I am an adult orphan. I, I'm it, half an orphan. I, I don't know. I don't know. How, yeah, um, I don't think I'd heard the term adult orphan before. But I recognize... That this is affecting you. When your second one dies, you'll know. That's what people said about my mom died, you know. It's like a... It's like suddenly... Suddenly you're alone. You know, like I'm... Oh. I'm... All of a sudden, I'm like a grown-up person all by myself. I, it's it's fine. It's I shouldn't get this way. Oh no, you should be the, exactly the way that you are. Yeah, you, know, you 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 I don't. Know. People go to therapy to try and change the way they are. Therapy. Therapy. <laughs> lots and lots and lots of yeah, therapy. I know. You know, but there's something beautiful about the way people are, you know, in reality. What are you saying? That those of us who go to therapy aren't in reality? What are you saying right now, Brad? I don't get it. I don't get it. I just Ange don't get Angie, it. I don't Angie, get it. Angela. Sorry. Oh. I'm saying that people go to therapy to change the way the essence of themselves, you know, the way they are, instead of just embracing it. I don't want to have an argument. I think it's a discussion. I feel myself wanting to, like, just lash out at you at you like and i know that that's not who i want to be i am not a lasher outer at someone but i want to lash you're not a lasher outer and yet you want to lash i want to lash or don't you feel like that's denying your essence you're claiming that you're not I'm a lasher outer not a lasher but if you want to lash i want to lash and maybe you're a lasher outer. I am not a lasher outer, but I do want to lash. I want to lash because I did not deny my reality by going to therapy, and therapy didn't make me deny my. So you're triggered by the word reality. Just go back and redact that. We don't need reality. Just who you are. You're still We're... accusing me of change, trying to change who I am by going to therapy. Well, isn't that the point of it? Isn't isn't aren't people and are just aren't weren't you dissatisfied with the way you were? So you went to therapy to try and change that? I was dissatisfied with not being able to get out of bed for days at a at a time. Yes. Is that who I am? 
Or was that something I was suffering? Hmm. You want a soda? I suddenly feel the need for a soda. I love a soda. You have a black, we have the black cherry. I'm super emotional. He's super not. I've been to therapy and therapy and therapy and therapy and coaching and therapy and therapy and coaching and therapy and coaching. And I think it's made me a better person personally because I can get out of bed. You know what I mean? But he's like so, you know, chill and level and reality is just the way it is. And I'm like, Reality sucks. Thank you. Moxie. Moxie. The official state soda of Maine. I wish we were back in Maine. We had to leave. Yeah. I mean, we had to leave. There was, it wasn't. We had to change that reality. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we got in a little bit of a oopsie, a little bit yeah. of an oopsie. Oh. oopsie. We're not probably not going to get into that here. No, I mean, we don't need to hash that out again. <laughs> that was oopsie. It was a mistake. I made it. I admit that. <laughs> Al was a bad neighbor. Al was a bad neighbor. Al was a bad neighbor. Al did not make you put posted on our property. He kind of did. And he kind of didn't. I mean, it's always a choice. I know that. We wouldn't have been drummed out of town if we wouldn't have put the post-it up on the property. And well, if Al hadn't got drunk all the time and took, took his ATV all over the yard. I know. I know. I'm not saying you made a wrong decision. I'm not saying it was a wrong choice. Everybody loves Al. It's like we were the noobs. Al's been there three, four generations, whatever it was. It was eight generations yeah founding not father because you know the founding fathers were the founding fathers but al's great great however many greats yeah. great was like a founding father's yeah hooper upper person or something i don't you can't doesn't matter you can't i couldn't we couldn't i know was, i shouldn't have done it i shouldn't have, i shouldn't have posted it i should have understood the situation but and now we're in New Hampshire. Now we're in New Hampshire. Live free or die. Is that what it is? Yes. <laughs> well, no state income tax, so that's nice. It is nice. It's nice. And it's good that we're close to your um your dad. Yeah, you know, since you're half an orphan. Yeah. I'm glad we don't have to see him too often. Let's just put it that way. Yeah. My mom used to do that. I learned that from my mom. That, that double, the double sip. Oh, uh, yep. Because yep. you have the edge. You have to get the stuff off the edge. Or it's disgusting. It's not like I didn't love my mom. You miss her, right? I, I mean, I can't say I think about her and, and miss. I can't say that. I can't say that. Huh. And she got a little crazy there toward the end, you know. Did you grieve her before she left then? Is that I mean I just don't you know that I'm, off. What are you? You know what I'm saying? I mean, sometimes when our when our parents like get the dementia, yeah, we lose them before we lose them. Maybe. Well, maybe. I don't know. 
I, I don't know. I don't think about it. I just don't think about it. It's like she's gone. She's not in my life anymore. And it's fine. Life just continues. But a part of your heart is like... I don't, I don't feel that. I don't feel that. I, I, don't, I don't mean to laugh. I'm laughing somewhat nervously, be, but also somewhat just... Like, really? Are you saying that? Because I don't feel that. I didn't feel that when she, when I found out she died via email from my dad. Your dad emailed you. That's how we do. You know that in my family. No, That's I how we like, do. It's just so... I mean, what, what am I, what I'm going to do, you know? What I'm, what I'm going to do. If my mom is dead, she's dead. If I get a via email, that's, you know, it doesn't need a call in the middle of the night disturb somebody's sleep which is bad enough as it is well you know i mean I'll, i don't know i don't know i can't relate i mean i was you were devastated devastated when my dad died it was i thought the world would stop turning and it didn't and that pissed me off pissed me off that the sun rose the next day like i was gutted and the sun rose yeah and then when my mom died, I, I mean, I thought I was fine, but I wasn't fine. I don't, maybe you're, oh. wow. Oh, wow. Right in the middle of my heart talk about my mom dying. It's gotta come out. I knew, I knew it was a risk. Yeah. Drinking mom and I soda. Soda. <laughs> it's not vomit. It's moxie. It's anyway, I'm sorry. Go no, on. it's past. It's past. Really? Because it doesn't Probably seem like it not. is. It doesn't seem like it is. You just broke down because the kid orphan was on Columbo what? and you're. The same thing happened when we watched that Leverage episode. Where... Don't bring it up. I still miss my parents. I wonder why. I always, I mean, I honestly, I don't necessarily wonder why you miss your parents. I always wonder why I don't miss my mom. I wonder that too. Too. I like to think it's because I always look ahead. Like I've never missed anyone. See, and that just creeps me out a little. Why? Because I think, oh, you won't even miss me. Well, that's yet to be seen. I don't know. Well, Hopefully. but historically, you haven't missed anyone. That's so why would you miss me? Because you're special and I love you. And well, I am special. My life would be emptier without you. That's true. You know, I really miss my mom. <laughs> Dog on it. Who do you miss more, your mom or your dad? Hmm. I mean, your dad died well before your mom. Yeah, my dad's been gone 20 years this year, I think. Yeah, 20 years this summer. Um, That's hard to say. A little complicated. Yeah, you had a weird... It was all complicated. A weird family life. My family life was kind of... It was, I mean, it was weird. We moved a lot. I really think that helped me with transitions in my life in what you may perceive to be a negative way and what I perceive to be a positive way. Like when we moved away from a place, I don't remember ever writing to somebody at, at a place where we left. Hmm. I wrote to friends that moved across town. Wow. Yeah, because we didn't go to the same school anymore. Wow. I mean, until junior high, and then we all came back to school together again. But yeah, I miss people. I get. It used to be really bad. It's not as bad as it used to be, but I used to just be, 
it was like my heart was being torn out of my wow okay okay <laughs> now i haven't even had another drink belchie mcbelcherson during the heart rending i get it talk. i'm sorry i'm sorry oh wow i'm sorry but that's who i am and that's part of my ass belchie mr <laughs> belcher man well, anybody who drinks soda is that normal human reaction to soda I don't belch. It's <laughs> such a, it's so such a <laughs> lie. Give <laughs> some of the deepest, richest <laughs> belches of any I've ever heard in my life. It's, it's fantastic. Very, I'm very proud of them. <laughs> that was just a total lie. I couldn't even he couldn't even bald face that one. I don't even know what that means. What does bald face lie mean? bald face is it because people people's it is bald faced pr properly um people say bold faced now really bold faced like, like because you're being bold about it well what's a bald, bald face? faced lie i think i looked it up once i don't remember like would all your beard hair just fall out that's yeah. a bald face bald lie. face lie you can wikipedia it i'll do it or yeah. just google it because there's a good reason for it. I don't remember what it is. Hmm. But that's just, you know, I, I, <clears throat> so some, these emotions that people have, I wish that I could experience them. You know, I wish that I could get inside their head. But at the same time, I'm glad I don't have, them. I wish I could empathize. Is that the right word? Yeah. I wish I could empathize. But I, I I want to empathize with you because I love you. And I want to, at the same time, I'm happy to be here as a less emotionally affected person. <laughs> That's just <laughs> trying to, I don't know what's, I don't know what's right. I, I am who I am. Yeah. I tried to go to therapy once. Did I tell you that? Uh, you did. You did you were too healthy for I had therapy. I had two I had actually I had two experiences with therapy one was when I got my DUI a long time ago and at the time the state was running a program where you had to go to therapy and I I I, had, I was supposed to go to 10 sessions and after eight the therapist was just like look you're fine. I'm just going to sign you off. And then the second time was after, you know, was after one of these types of crises, not with you, but where it was like, why don't I feel what other people feel? And essentially the therapist told me is because you're very well adjusted. This, this, what she said was, you're like somebody who's been going to therapy for 10 years. So what am I supposed to do with that? Am I supposed to just say I'm a I'm a messed up person because I can't feel those things, or should I just I maybe that's where I got the idea? It's like people go to therapy to get to the point where they aren't as emotionally affected by things. Well, I could crawl on all kinds of soapboxes right now about what I, I think you, about therapy, but I know you could. I'm not going to. Mm. I just think you and I exist on two sides of a huge continuum. Yeah. I feel everything. Everything. I know everything. Where you read books and you feel them, you watch movies, you feel them, you watch shows and you feel them. And I'm just. That, remember that, that episode we just watched recently? I forget what show it was, but somebody had to hit a mark so they could slip. And we rewatched the slip. Oh, three. Yeah. We rewatched the slip because it was funny. Yeah. And it's like, oh, that was good. And the second time I thought I saw it was a woman. I thought he saw the actress see that look she looked the... down she looked down as she came into the store to see where her mark was where she would slip and then we ran it back and that's absolutely what happened but if you don't do that so that's how i i look at maybe i look at life that way too and just like analyzing what 
I'm the analyst. I'm the analyst. I don't know. I don't know. Adult orphan. Adult orphan. Yeah, I, I sort of feel that way now because I don't see my dad as often as maybe I quote unquote should. He doesn't need me. Well, if he ever starts toddling out of his house without his pants on. <laughs> if he does that. Running down the street, he might need you. Silver alert. Oh, boy. Are they getting people lost in the woods around? Yeah. All the time. Oldsters wandering around in the woods. You don't want that. You don't want that. Come here, little orphan girl. 40-year-old orphan. Ah, the 40-year-old orphan. There you go. Okay, that was us. Ramen on Sunday. We're ramen on Sunday. That's kind of what we do. That kind of show we do. Not always. Always. Tonight, though. Yeah, well, I normally don't burp on camera. That was a first, actually. That was and twice. Yeah. And twice. <laughs> and twice. I really wanted a soda, though. I was feeling hot because we had the fire going earlier. I was feeling a little warm and I wanted a cold soda. All right, so anyway, um, coming up next, I'll be your host for the rest of the evening, but coming up next, we have the Upside Down players. So stay tuned and z <laughs> you can still be on camera if you want. Xander, who runs the show, will be will take us to the right place. See you soon. <laughs> <laughs>